I see Adelbert Steiner as one of FF9's most underrated character. He has a rough start compared to the rest of the cast and even declines in importance later on. However, despite these circumstances, he manages to shine and tell his own story about the dangers and the beauty of loyalty and duty. For a quick rundown, Adelbert Steiner is one of the playable characters of FF9. He is the captain of the Knights of Pluto of Alexandria and a retainer of Princess Garnet, serving as her guard. As mentioned earlier, Steiner has a rough start and this is due to his initial representation. First, he is someone that's hard to get along with. He has a lot of red flags that make him unlikable, such as a narrow worldview, an even treatment of certain characters, and stubbornness. This puts him at odds with the early cast and even the player. Second, he is someone that's hard to take seriously. He is used for comic relief being the butt of some jokes. They use his emotional and clumsy demeanor to lighten certain situations. Even his main theme embodies these factors. Take a listen. However, despite the flaws, there are signs of the makings of a great man. Steiner has a good sense of loyalty and duty, especially to those he considers a friend and ally. He's a hardworking person and someone who ultimately has good intentions. He also has his own share of wisdom, something that the game sadly doesn't show as much. All of these can be used to succinctly describe Steiner for the entirety of Disc 1. And it's because of this that Disc 1 serves as the foundation of his character. There's a glimpse of his misplaced responsibilities, the bullheaded approach of keeping the princess safe, the unbecoming behavior he shows to certain types of people, which, weirdly, is also used to highlight how nice of a person he actually is. Disc 2 takes the foundation and tries to start Steiner's development. In terms of the overall plot, this is the part of the game where things start to pick up, introducing characters and information that will eventually be the main focus. For Steiner, this is the highest point and end of his flawed character aside from the aforementioned development. Most of the events that happen around him are crucial and serve as the primary driving force of said change. First, there's more focus on his flaws and more insight to how his mind works, how his confused sense of duty causes him to be in denial and ignorant, bordering on blind faith, the amount of mental gymnastics he does to convince himself of his current actions, the obstinate and heated approach to protecting Garnet. Second is the destruction and reformation of his loyalty represented by his rescue of Garnet in Alexandria. This is arguably the most important series of events for his progression as it forces Steiner to face reality. It shows his other side that we've seen when he's faced with the right group of people. And more importantly, there's the creation of a new vow. What was originally a blind and skewed sense of duty and loyalty has been refocused given a clearer objective. He drops off after this event and returns later in Disc 3. While Disc 2 starts the character development, Disc 3 progresses it even further. To be clear, Steiner does not start the disc as an immediately changed man. There are still pieces of his previous personality, but they're not hindrances to a newer, better Steiner. Rather, they serve to emphasize his changes. For starters, his previously comical demeanor has been toned down. While he still finds himself in outlandish situations, the joke isn't used at his expense. More of laughing with you, not at you. This in turn also makes him look and feel more reliable because he is. The highest point of his new character would be the defense of Alexandria as it encompasses all of his new traits. The zeal in his newfound responsibilities, the dedication to protect his friends and allies, and generally a more honest version of himself. After that, Steiner is relegated to small scenes. However, these scenes are still able to successfully showcase his budding traits. Case in point, accepting Tantalus' help to search for Garnet as she disappeared after returning to Lindblom from Mount Golog, something old Steiner would never do. Or calling out Amarant for his arrogant actions in Ibsen's castle, which is kinda ironic considering Steiner's history. The biggest culmination of his development is in the final parts of the game, specifically the end of Disc 3 and the entirety of Disc 4. 
at the end of disc 3, we have Pandemonium, specifically Zidane's You're Not Alone section. Here, Steiner admits to mulling whether Zidane is the right person for Garnett, and at the end of the section, he makes a declaration of chivalry, calling Zidane a comrade at arms and one he would follow to the end. Definitely a far cry from how he was previously. And finally, at the end of the game, there are two noteworthy events. First is during Zidane's goodbye to Garnett. We can see Steiner moving aside to give the two some privacy. Second is at the epilogue. We can see Steiner approaching a leaving Beatrix being completely honest to the latter, as well as opening the door for Garnett at the end cinematics. These two events, as short as they are, successfully encapsulates all of the changes and development that Steiner has gone through. He finally becomes the full embodiment of his actual self, the man who is honorable, hardworking, and noble. The person is a good ally and friend, and definitely someone that you can rely on. Steiner's tale while donning the mask of the classic self-improvement is a story about loyalty and duty. That having a good sense of responsibility is great to have, but not at the expense of everything else. That pushing loyalty to the point of blind faith is dangerous not only to yourself but to the people around you. That pushing duty to the point of severe single-mindedness only pulls you away further from your goals. But more importantly, his story also shows that duty and loyalty can be so beautiful when put in the right place. It allows us to protect and cherish what we care about the most. It lets us be honest with ourselves and others, and that it sets us on the right path. In Steiner's case, he becomes the knight he is supposed to be, a man of chivalry, a great comrade at arms, and a true protector. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.